All right, so today we got the Bose Acoustimass 700. And today's video is going to be a little different than, you know, my regular videos. Because, first of all, I know a lot of people out there, you know, they, they see Bose and they're just like, Oh, it's Bose. Oh, yeah. All highs, no lows. Must be Bose. Well, today we're going to talk about that a little bit. And uh, we're going to go in depth. And I just wanted to set it off by saying my first speaker system that, uh, you know, my first actual surround sound system that I actually, you know, enjoyed was a Bose system. And I've had it for years. And through everything it's been through, it's never really given me any trouble. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go buy a brand new one in the box. So this is actually a discontinued system. This is the Acoustimass 700 system. And this actually has a date on the box of 1997. So pretty awesome. Being it's 1997, still as you can see has the factory tape on it. As you can see here. So the factory tape's still there. You can see it comes with the Bose 100 speakers for this round. You know your uh double cubes for your front and center and then for the sub it's got the Acoustimass module in there so yeah it's pretty cool it's like a time capsule from 1997 awesome so let's go ahead and uh, break that seal and see what's in there and open this joker up no 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 do not do this people this is a joke I would probably slice through the whole freaking thing. No. And real quick before we open and break that seal, I just wanted to show you how serious about the date. 1297. And the funny thing is, I'm actually in South Carolina, local to Blythewood. And uh, the system right here, I got it from Tennessee. All the way in Tennessee. And uh, I thought the cool thing was the origin of this system is from Blythewood, which is not too far away from me. So I thought it was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and break that seal. <laughs> but yeah, don't don't use one of those. Please don't. Just just don't. Okay, y'all. I'm just freaking nervous. I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Let's just go ahead and do this. Just rip the bandaid. It just hurts me taking away this factory seal like this. Oh well, it's mine now. Mm. Okay. Here it comes, guys. Oh, there's staples in this thing. Dang. Hang on. I did not realize that. I'm going to put this hand down here. Okay, here we are. All right. Let's see. Got the staples out. All right. Let's go ahead and flip this around so we can see what's going on here. All right. Let's see. All right, Bose Acoustimass 700 Home Theater Speaker Package. All right, let's go ahead and take a further look. Okay. So let's see this. Kind of like, the, I guess, a little diagram for you. Okay, let's put this to the side here. All right. Ooh. Now, this is what I'm really interested to see. Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look then. We got in here. Ooh, this joke is pretty darn good compared to my other one. I got. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, it's beefy. Hang on one second. I'm gonna grab the other one real quick to show you by comparison. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out there. There we go. Yeah, this thing's nice. It's a lot bigger than the other one is. It's an older model as well, which is interesting. You see here, those are two different generation double cubes. This one is the uh, Gen 2, I believe. This is Gen 3 here. Let's see here, as you can see on the back, got different kind of connections. This one has, you know, your regular clip springs. And this one's got, you know, where you push this little guy right here, and it opens up inside there for you, which is pretty cool. And uh, this one actually is a little bit taller as well. You can see here, let me rearrange these so you can see that. If you can tell a little bit there. It's not much taller, but it is a little bit deeper as you can see as well. So yeah. 
All right. Let's see what else we've got in here. Okay, we got some more of these, of course. The rest of those. Go ahead and set those up here. Okay. And we've also got some wiring right here as well. This is speaker wire. Oh, wow. I'm not sure which one's which, but uh, we'll take a look at those in a second. As far as, you know, which one's for the front, surround, all that stuff. This right here, it's got my interest at this current second. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, these guys right here actually are the Bose Video 100 speakers. Or Model 100 speakers. Okay. Let's see, where did I put my... Uh, Hang on a second. Oh, here we go. Perfect. I can use this to open it. Nope, nope, nope. Hang on. There we go. Much better. Like I said, y'all, don't try that at home. I don't want to see y'all cut y'all's fingers off or something worse. All right. Let's see. Does this one have staples too? I don't even know. This is an adventure for all of us. Okay. Got your little brackets in here, little feet. So, okay. okay. So now, how does this work exactly? It's confusing, but I think we'll get through this together. Okay. Wow, these things are actually bigger than I thought they'd be. Same with those guys. A lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Oh wow, holy mackerel. Gee, I know these were going to be big, but I had no idea how big. Okay, I need to set this down. Hang on. Okay, so we got these unboxed, as you can see here. And uh, each of these wires are 50 feet. That's for the surround. And you've got your left, center, and right channel hookups that uh, also go into the subwoofer. And your amplifier. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, finish the last piece of this puzzle. Okay, I wanted to show y'all this real quick before I decided to go any further because I thought to myself, you know what? You don't see this every day. For 1997, a star driver, four and a half inch. It's not a star shape, but it's got like a uh, star shape on the actual, you know, cone of the driver. It's pretty interesting. And here you've got your uh, spring-loaded clips, positive, negative, wall mounting stuff on the back. And uh, let me show you that real quick. Okay, let's see. This is M100 wall ceiling mounting bracket. Let's see. Oh, okay. I see how that works. Cool. All right. Now, back to the last piece of the puzzle. We've made it. We've come this far, y'all. We've come this far. There's no going back. Ooh. Okay, here's the owner's manual here. About time. Let's see. Heat for the sub. Different things in here, brochures, all that, whatnot. Alright, and there's the sub itself. Acoustic mess. Let's go ahead and get it out. Well, we made a mess. Was it worth it? Yes. Okay. Oh, can okay, me wipe this off? That's better. I can't stand dust on my stuff. Anyways, guys, this is the acoustic mess model it comes with. Looking great. No scratches or anything, which is nice, because Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist has plenty of them with a fair share of that. But, uh, yeah, we've got our little clips here on the back, spring-loaded. Wiring diagram. Bose Acoustmask 700. It's pretty nice, y'all. I'm loving it so far. Let's just see what happens. All right. As you can see, I went ahead and installed the surround speakers. And uh, one thing I did uh, want to note, as y'all can see, it's dark out. So, uh... Yeah, I've, I've been listening to it, and uh, so far it sounds great. But yeah, guys, that was the Acoustamass 700 unboxing video, and uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Just remember, y'all like, share, and subscribe. Definitely stay tuned, because we've got a lot of different stuff. We've got some reviews coming out soon, so yeah, definitely stay tuned, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.